good morning students in this video you will know how to work on constraint first of all you should know what is constraint constraint are restriction on the values stored in a database based on the requirement whatever i need and as per that my data should be entered in the table suppose Recently, you have given class test one. Okay, you have sixty marks. Okay, class test, and I will use one trigger over here that more than sixty will not be allowed. If any teacher will try to write the value sixty one, it will not be. So in that case, in the subject, I have to use the check constant. Okay. but other constant are also important like if i want if suppose this is my table okay i have taken my two fields name and role okay now what is the use of not null if i want that my datas in this field must be there it cannot be blank in name field okay there should be some data so in that case i will prefer not null next one is default if suppose in case anyone miss to fill the data in this field then automatically roll number 1 will be set in that case i will go for default now check i don't want because i know that in this class yes roll number 45 is the last one so i will use with check okay with this check constant i can use roll number less than suppose 55 is my last one so i will use less than 56 it means when anyone will write more than 55 it will not be allowed and the key constant see i am talking about the primary key if the primary key of table consist of a single attribute then the corresponding attribute can be declared primary key along with its description but if i want my primary key to be used in more than one field okay then you can go for key constant okay if the primary key contains more than one attribute attribute here shows the column then it must be specified separately as list of attributes it comprises of within parentheses separated by commas i am going to discuss this all yes using the sql okay don't worry my dear so first of all i will open my sql okay i will set the password already i set the password so as per that i am working okay now i am going to use a database so first of all let me see the databases now yes office is there okay i will utilize this database i have entered in yes a database office now it's time to create <coughs> create a table so what i will use create table now i'm going to take teacher as the table okay so i will write here teacher one okay i am adding teacher one maybe teacher already created so i want to have a unique table so teacher one i have given okay now i will use yes the small bracket now teacher id i am going to set as integer okay first field teacher id okay comma name varkar 15 okay and this i use as not null okay 
Now salary. Salary, I am going to use decimal. Integer 10 and the fraction that is 2. Default 4000. Okay. Now this is the constant default I used. Now department number integer. Here I am going to use check constant. And in this department number will be less than or equal to 200. Okay. Now comma. Now, I want to set primary key in two attributes. So I will use primary key. So what are the two attributes? First one in teacher ID and in department number. Now, check one by one. See, I have created a table name as teacher one. Now, first attribute is my teacher ID. Second attribute is name. Third attribute is salary. Fourth attribute is department number. Fifth, <coughs> <coughs> only four attributes I have used. Okay, now, Next, you see, what are the data type of that one? Integer is the data type of teacher. Var card is the data type of name. Decimal is the data type of salary. Integer is the data type of department number. Okay. And the last part. And the last part, that is my constraint. Okay. In the first one, I haven't used... Wait, this one, let me... Erase. In the first one, I haven't used my constraint. But in second one, you can see, here I have used my constraint, first constraint as not null. That means null will not be allowed. Now, in salary, you see, I have used the constraint, second constraint, that is as default. It means if anyone will miss to fill the salary in that yes, cell, then automatically 4,000 will be shown there. Okay. Now in department number, I have used the third constraint. That is my check. That means if my department number will be more than Yes, 200, okay, or 200, it will not be allowed. So at that time, error report will be generated. And the last one you see, I have used the primary constraint. This is my fourth one, but primary constraint I have applied in two fields, teacher ID and department number, so that unique value will be there in these two fields, okay. I hope you have understood these all topics, my dear. Thank you, my dear.